What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Mobile Legends Adventure, and today we're going to be going over a quick beginner's guide, kind of breaking down all the different game modes for you, to give you a little tips here and there when it's possible, and basically just going over the entire game for those that are new to the game, welcome, it's an amazing game, I absolutely love it, it has a lot of, uh, a lot of features that are similar to Idle Heroes, a lot of features similar to AFK Arena, uh, the one thing that I really enjoy is you can build the same hero multiple times so it's not a game where you only build one hero because a lot of these collector games you can only build one of the hero and then you're locked in so you basically have to build every hero in the game whether they're great whether they're bad in this game you can actually focus on only building the heroes you really want to build and of course each faction has its own food so you can build each faction at the same time not worrying about having to feed heroes to other factions to level them up things like that so it's actually not that bad and it's a pretty good system so of course like every game we have a campaign uh campaign is very important because that is going to what is going to level up your idle rewards the higher in campaign you go the more idle rewards you'll see also there will be certain types of content that unlock at certain campaign modes you'll be able to see that as soon as you jump into the game something say unlocked at chapter 10-30 things like that it'll tell you right away what you have so one thing we probably need to talk about immediately is going to be the summoning system. So there are quite a few different ways to summon heroes in this game, and it differs depending on how far into the game you are. When you first start out, premium summons is pretty much going to be one of the only things you can do along with miracle summons and friendship summons. So premium summons are kind of a great one to do because this is how you're going to really expand your hero collection uh you're gonna get the most variety plus the one great thing is there is a wish list button down here so i make I'm telling you right now make sure you look at some tier lists some some guides on what heroes to put in for each faction because these are the heroes that you're going to get which is really great because so many games out there you summon and you get heroes that you really don't even want and then it feels really really bad so premium summons is definitely the way to go especially if you're a free-to-play player majority of your time and gems and diamonds that you're going to spend are going to be in premium summons now there are no specific events for premium summon so if you get the premium summon tickets you can just use them anytime you want you don't have to save them you don't have to collect them just use them right away what there are though is when a new hero comes out there's limited time summons that happen so this is what you want to save your diamonds for because of course there's chances to get bonus copies over here is a limited time event to summon for the hero so this is where you want to save your diamonds for a hero that you actually want whereas premium summon tickets you can use them at any time same with miracle summon except miracle summon you are going for a specific faction so if you're going for light heroes you want to go for light marshall marshall you get the whole point you have a much you have pretty much the same exact chance to summon the five star as you notice here the miracle summon and the premium summon exact same rates so it's not a big deal as far as that goes and your wishing list does work when it comes to miracle summons as well these are excellent for generating food if you already have copies for heroes you want to build you're definitely going to want food because you do not want to feed any elite heroes into uh another hero now a couple of these here uh we got friendship summons is again a lower rate but you get these by adding people to your friends list sending them a heart every day receiving hearts for them the usual there are two that show up later on one of them being sacred oath so sacred oath you really don't want to use your diamonds on you really want to just use any scrolls you get the sacred uh oath scrolls these are going to be what you're going to go for the two kind of premium factions in the game so of course you can pick any hero you want but in reality you really need to only be picking order or chaos heroes and again make sure you're using ones that are really good if you had to start out i'd say one safe bet for everybody um is probably some of the order heroes i think they're really good lunox is absolutely amazing support slash damage slash tankiness She's like an all well-rounded, plus there's chances to get some bonus stuff. I've actually managed to hit the 30,000 diamonds one time, which I think is a very, very, very low chance to happen, but that is pretty cool. And then later on, you will have Prophecy Summons. So this will basically give you 
selection to pick a hero to summon so you're i believe guaranteed a pity timer of every 30 summons you're guaranteed to get an elite hero copy which in this case with the prophecy summons you're guaranteed to get the copy that you pick uh, and of course based on the number of waking heroes you have increases the chances to summon the hero that you have picked so you can only pick through the normal five factions you cannot pick order or chaos so definitely make sure you're picking the correct one before you do it and then of course as you're doing miracle premium and i think limited time summons as well you will fill up this energy bar and get some awesome rewards at every checkpoint it changes every single time so you definitely have to pay attention but as far as summons go that is the breakdown so besides that in the city we have a couple places the fusion shrine of course is where you're going to fuse up all your heroes from your three stars all the way up to your ascended heroes everything happens right here there's a nice tutorial behind my face right here if you want to check that out in the game as well we have the holy sanctuary so this right here is going to be your top five heroes as far as levels go because that is going to be the level of your extra heroes you can take any old hero and throw them into the heroes that are blessed and they will get the same level as the lowest level on your blessing so you want to make sure you're leveling up five heroes together if you want to make sure you have more than your full team that's going to be one of the most optimal ways to do it so definitely get them leveled up we have Hall of Fame. This one's cool for people who are not spending, especially people who get to second certain checkpoints. There will be rewards up here. They'll give you free diamonds. Make sure you're claiming them all the time. And then, of course, if you're a spender, this is where you're going to flex if you are going to flex. We have the Temple of Oracle. This one doesn't open for a while. I think it actually doesn't open until you have a first ascended hero, but I can't remember exactly. You will get basically this uh these this currency here every time you get a new hero or level them up or something that will let you power up all heroes this is very very important and then there will also be a secondary tier that lets you power up certain uh support heroes damage dealers things like that based on what class they are they'll tell you all the heroes that you have on your account and when you level up you get bonuses when you get them to certain points they get skills unlocked getting them to 15 is very very important for most of them so definitely make sure you're working on that this right here is one of the most important things that i think a lot of people slack on they don't invest and get currencies in events for this event is very important to level up really fast the library is going to be where you're going to be able to unlock some skins that'll happen later in the game for you and then loom uh lunacy i don't know is basically like bonus cards that you're going to summon for and each one of these cards are going to have certain effects that you can attach to certain heroes some of them that are higher quality have synergies with certain heroes so if you put them in that hero they'll get bonus things which is pretty cool um and yeah you can take a look at all your cards you'll see here these are the ones that have synergies with certain heroes and if you put them on that hero you will get a bonus like this odette obtains the following attributes when equipped life steal plus six so pretty cool not too bad moving on we have the dismantle shrine so right here is pretty much a couple different options now if you decide to change the hero that you're leveling to use in your uh your whatchamacallit your holy sanctuary right here you're going to come over to dismantle shrine you can transfer it to any other hero it does usually cost diamonds depending on the level of them so make sure you're doing that you can also reset a hero all the way back to zero and get the resources back uh you can do character dissimulation usually people do the auto dissimulate that's usually for like the the heroes you're just not going to use the really bad ones you can restore heroes so when you own two heroes of the same name that are six star and above you can restore one with lower level to a five star version that's something you can do and you can remove or lay cards as well so that's where you're kind of dismantling everything and then we have the market the market you're going to want to pretty much be visiting every day there's certain things you want to buy there's certain things that are free um there's other things that might look like good offers but at the same time you might want to hold off gold is a very valuable resource so do not overspend on things uh, but basically you're, you're one thing that you if you need it your advanced essence you might want to buy for gold every day the dungeon shop is amazing for getting hero copies simple as that the guild shop so the guild shop you should really save your currency until you get these offers for omen crystals these omen crystals are going to upgrade your mythic gear to a higher tier and get stat bonuses so that is what you're going to want to be hunting the brawl shop again really great hero copies they got heroes like valir in here which are ones you really want to hunt for 
for. Uh, make sure you're not going for some kind of side, not great. I mean, Valier is kind of like one of the best ones you want to go for this shop. Honor is great too if you need a couple of extra resources, although it does get a little expensive to buy them. And then the shrine shop. Ooh, looks like I have 18,000. We want to grab all these. Um, typically what I do is I buy all these out and then I'll do a refresh if I feel like it. Most people who are playing free to play, you should probably just wait for the reset. Uh, the basically resets every month. So definitely be aware of that. But that is good. And then lastly, you have guild. Guild has some cool things where you can get some parties. You can uh, you invite people. You get resources. You can go to other people's parties. And you can claim the chest for bonus guild coins. You want to do this every single day. Once you get to a certain VIP, they let you hit the claim all button, which is really nice. Uh, we're already requesting a dish, so that's good. Once you get all your dishes, you can start your own room, invite your guild mates, and you guys can get guild coins. Besides that, there is a guild boss fight, which is very important to do every day. You're going to be getting rewards based on your uh, your progress that you get on it, and then, of course, your guild gets ranked as well. So that kind of brings a little quick guide to that right there. The quest system is pretty much the same old, same old in every game. You have your daily quest and you get different things from it. You got your weekly quest as well. You have different rewards and then you have your achievement system. This is where you're going to get a good majority of your diamonds in the game. There's an overall achievements bar, but then every time you pass five levels in the campaign, you'll have a spot to claim it. When you get to higher ones, you're going to get some really, really good rewards as well for clearing an entire chapter. You'll get free VIP points. You can get to like VIP two, VIP three very, very easily in this game where you don't have to spend any money at all, which I absolutely love. And I wish other games would do that. And then you can also get like summons, things like that. There's there's other achievements as you can see there's some really easy ones that you can do like just following their instagram following their facebook join their discord and you'll get like 100 diamonds for each one of those which is a very very nice bonus uh moving on over to the suburb this is where the game modes this is going to look a lot different for what you see here compared to what you're going to see in the early game so tower of babel so this is where you're going to have your normal tower you're not going to have the other options when you first join the game this right here is going to be where you just progress against wave after wave every like five waves you get some uh you get some five star hero fragments of course you have to clear 10 of those to actually get some good resources uh, actually start every 10 levels not five levels you'll get some bonuses and then when you get to a certain level i believe i don't know if it actually tells us here no it doesn't when you get to a certain level you'll unlock each faction specific tower you can do up to 10 floors a day so you definitely want to keep up with this and then you'll notice they're open certain days a week they rotate try to make sure you get them done every single day because this is where a lot of progress and um and rewards are going to come from this is a very very important part which is why even if you're not building Building heroes in each faction you really want to make sure your holy sanctuary is getting leveled up because you can put those heroes in those other factions that you don't necessarily use but will be useful in something like the tower now arena has a bunch of different game modes you have your standard arena which is just your five on five lineups you have your honor arena which is where the strongest accounts come to fight every single month which is pretty cool i mean you'll see these these accounts are like the stacked accounts the big boys of the game the big spenders so this is the fight you'll see there you can wager on those battles as well when the time comes you have brawl arena which is essentially three lineups versus three lineups that you can set up your teams with and the whole goal is to win two out of three so if you're in the early game you really want to put like all your power across two two of your teams and just have the third one be fodder and that's not a bad deal right there you will also get brawl points which are going to be used in the store in the brawl shop so this is where you want to try to get to higher rank so you can get a bunch of coins per hour and then sometimes there's an event called glorious road it's a very similar event to the brawl arena except you kind of advance through the tiers and you get bonus rewards it's a cool one it's not here all the time it'll come and go so i won't go into it all that much next up we have the akashic ruins this is where all your puzzles are going to be and each puzzle has rewards in it this is where you're going to be getting uh things like your artifacts in the game uh, you're going to get potion of nature all those ones these are very important you want to unlock all of them and then in the later levels you're going to be getting the rewards to level them up 
So like in this one, for example, you're going to be getting the staffs. You're actually going to give me 10, 10, 10, and 30 of these artifact shards, the fragments. These are going to level up the artifacts you already have unlocked. There's also the prologue, which just has some really cool rewards, gear, summons, advanced essence. And then there's Legends Revive, which is like the next tier up. This one usually has more advanced resources and you don't unlock this one for a very long time. I think it might even be... I don't even remember the exact level. I feel like it's in like the late 20s, maybe early 30s that you unlock this one. But again, you want to try to get those puzzles done as much as possible. We have Tinted Mirage right now. So this one is kind of like a second campaign mode right here. And it's a event going on right now. You can claim your rewards. You can do spins to get more resources here. You can spend your currencies. Ooh, that was a good spin. You can spend your currencies to upgrade as well with the time scrolls. And so you want to be powering up your team with attack. You can do uh, you can attack, HP, defense. You can level up your overall hero. You can also level up selection rewards every day so you can pick which currency you get but essentially this gets tougher and tougher and tougher uh you can see you get a, a specific essence of some samsara in this event and then you can use a special shop here to get some bonus summons get some more resources things like that which is a pretty nice event here next up is realm of legends this is a temporary event as well it's very similar to the puzzles you've seen you'll get some bonus resources it's pretty nice nice now labyrinth is done every i believe two days i believe it's every two days this one is a grid like uh map where you click the grid you find the enemies you beat the enemies you find the key to the next floor you keep moving down and that's where you're going to get some bonus resources just make sure you're doing this every day no matter what even day one of your account i think you can unlock the labyrinth and get to it and lastly you have tavern tavern is where you're going to have daily quests to complete you send your heroes out on missions you claim the rewards simple as that if you are not a very high tavern level number um i would wait to re-roll anything i would not re-roll quest refreshing because refreshing costs diamonds once you get to a higher tavern level then you can do that and then lastly we have trek of miracle event this one comes by every once in a while the battle of fate is pretty much like a boss battle this one's i think up every day to every other day i actually don't remember on this one uh but this is where you're going to do boss fight you're going to be able to get some reward previews uh experience your this is the good one right here this is what you're looking for this statue resources for uh the gallery of valor it's very very important so you want to try to be as good as you can against these bosses and then occasionally you have this special route where there's kind of waves with some certain tasks to accomplish and as you do that you can unlock more chests some of them have five star hero shards some of them have the sign of stars so it's a pretty fun game mode but it has plenty of time to complete it i believe it's like a full month that you have to complete it most times and that is pretty good besides that we have our friends list nothing special there really you can hire heroes from your friends list so if you want to borrow a hero you can send out an invite and say hey you know i, I want this hero here and then if you are the person having the request, you'll be able to see all the heroes that you have loaned out to other people, which is pretty cool. Uh, besides that, we got to talk quickly about the shop and the events in the game. So the shop, you're going to have these launch packs that are overall pretty good value, uh, not too bad. The gems are pretty much, or diamonds are doubled, you get big VIP. I mean, this is mainly for spenders. There's going to be limited packs for certain types of events that pop up. So we have the dice event going on, plus we have a specific hero. These will pop up and only be limited for a certain amount of time. Some of these will refresh daily if you want to buy them as well. We have the pool party sale. This one I won't talk about much. This is just a special event one you can do. So if you want to purchase stuff, you can. Now the diamond funds are really great value. 20 bucks and you're going to get a ton of diamonds. You can see that 42,000 as you clear through the stages now unlike other games it's not every chapter it's like every five ish four to five it's kind of random it goes down to three later on and then once you clear that i actually just got this unlocked is the diamond fun two same exact thing but for more chapters down the road it's really good value i highly recommend it if you're looking to be a low spender now the skin shop isn't available right away but this is where you're going to get skins in the game and a lot of them are absolutely amazing looking um you can see here you'll get skin attribute bonuses by having them if there is a skin synergy 
like there are with the current uh, ones here. The pool party, if you have all four of the skins, not necessarily on heroes, if you just have them unlocked, you'll get a bonus attack on top of the attributes you're getting. And all the skin attributes will stat on your stack on your hero. So you want to get as many skins for a hero as possible because that's just going to continuously increase their stacks. So regular packs, we have daily, weekly, and monthly. Uh, you'll have a free one to claim in each one of these. This one you'll claim every day, every seven days, and every 31 days. A lot of these are decent. Sometimes you'll notice special events will throw some special currency in there, like the dice on this one. Overall, I usually say I kind of recommend people staying away from it unless you're a big spender. I mean, this is kind of how we started out. As you can see, uh, the monthly is reset. Sacred uh, orb or sc sacred scrolls are decent to go for, but overall, I mean, this is for like the big spenders out there. We're not going to go into it that much. Next up, we have passes. Pretty much like a battle pass, but these are pretty good ones to grab as well. I think they're 25 USD each, but they are going to give you bonus rewards. Even if you don't get it, you're going to get some resources, but you're going to get a huge bonus when you get them. Uh, for doing the dungeon, for doing your daily quests, things like that. These are great ones to grab if you're looking to spend. And then of course, there's the two monthly passes. These are going to give you diamonds daily. They're very good value, like total for the amount that you spend. So definitely consider it if you're looking to be a card holder. And then lastly, we have the events tab. This one's going to have a bunch of different things, a bunch of different events going on. We're not going to go over all these because they're different for every single week that's out. So there's a bunch of different stuff. You have login rewards. You have a bunch of uh, of free summons you can get from here as well. But besides just the events, you will have a couple notice things. You'll see the patch notes for the latest patch where you can get diamonds. You'll have the section to redeem CD keys. This is where you're going to put any CD key in. But beware, you can only use a CD key on one account across your server. So your login that you used to get into the game, you can only use CD keys on one server. So make sure you use it on the correct server that you want. Uh, there will be some other reminders. And then there will also be some community stuff. Guides for certain heroes. The hot heroes. Novice guides for people who are newer. So this is a great spot to come for a bunch of information. You'll have the news here as well, which is great. You can look back and you can look ahead to all the current news. Right now there's an August event calendar. You can see what events are coming up. You can also take a look at the MLA Insider Program. They're starting that up. It's pretty much going to be like a private server essentially. I don't know if you're going to be able to talk about what's on there. But that's going to be an advanced server where you see stuff early. And then you have all the social medias. Uh, you should be following these anyway or at least opening them up because you do get diamonds for following them. And that's pretty much it. There's the normal mail system. There's the normal instant rewards that you can claim once per day free. If you are a higher VIP player, you can claim it multiple times to get a bunch of extra resources. And yeah, pretty much that is it. The bag has all your resources. It has your hero shards. It has your equipment in it. One thing I do recommend, very last note, is any experience or battle points or any of that stuff that you have banked up, these save them. Because what these do, they don't give a flat amount of resource. They give it a resource based on your current chapter level, or rather your uh, auto battle loot level so right here we are at level 200 so you can see these numbers here these numbers right here are calculated into these items so that's why it'll be different for you compared to me you want to try to save them until you absolutely need to use them because chances are you'll be at a further campaign level by the time that happens and you'll get more resources so hopefully that helped you guys out if you do have any questions leave them in the comments down below i'm absolutely loving this game uh if you have not checked it out give it a try it's a really really good mobile idol gotcha game i'm loving it mainly because it's one of the few landscapes games out there like idol heroes i just love landscape games versus portrait games it just feels like they're not jamming everything onto a screen everything's nice and spread out it feels good and it definitely plays good so hopefully you guys enjoy this one make sure you take one second hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.